light illuminating uh, right here in the in the studio of the lighthouse. And uh, but we're not not only that uh, we are joined that today. With, yeah, and uh, and we have Brother Deloach here and Brother Paul. And uh, wow, we're just we're we're full of joy. That we are. That's right, Sherathon 2014. Which is exciting, and of course, you know. Robert and Becky Burns, you know, your partner, you're holding down and keeping the light shining here today on the final day of share That's right. And we're excited about to seeing friends and making new friends that have come Absolutely. by. Absolutely. And, of course, uh, Robbie and Katrina King, they're, they're a blessing to us, partner together, not only helping again in the community and the mm -hmm. role he is and, as chief and, and uh, fire chief, sister fire chief and public safety and coroner, you wear a lot of, what, what are all we your We have a lot of helps. We have a lot of, a yeah. lot of help. A lot yeah, of helps we wear. Fortunately, do it single-handed. But you've got a team. <laughs> good team effort, but uh, but on the on the front line and part of the public safety and people officials in uh, Camden County, we appreciate you. But also more than that, your highest calling is here at the Lighthouse, <laughs> and, and it the, is, and in Kingdom Work and Christchurch Camden, we appreciate that uh, all that you and Katrina do, and you help uh, to you want keep to this a, light shining. You know that's what a, we're doing on the air live right now on the Lighthouse right. eighty nine point three one zero five point nine, but also Byron Deloach, as you mentioned in the yeah. studio with us behind the cameras and the lights. That yep. helps to keep the broadcast of uh, the video presentation of the Rock Bible Study on Tuesday. Absolutely. The Loach Entertainment Television has uh, blessed us with doing these TV productions, and so we can. This is a this is a, a visual we can live write. visual <laughs> shot <laughs> here, here in our studio for the Lighthouse Sherathon. This is a first, Mark. You know, my goodness, we. I'm glad we got the uh, the backdrop up here for for the prop. And, That's uh, right. But this is kind of exciting. I've always had a dream that I'd like to have you know sometimes a visual. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. There you go. See, it's yeah. right behind you. Just yeah. as I mean, we spoke a few minutes. Yeah, a, a press look, conference was going to be taking place. Here, so. <laughs> I think he had uh, basketball in his mind when he was doing that. He saw yeah, the basketball mm -hmm. back oh, and he's right. like, oh, press conference. <laughs> right now, right this moment, he'd be in the studio with us. In fact, he was scheduled, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, but he and Bonnie uh, had to go upstairs outside the prayer room yes. to watch the Mercer Bears. <laughs> uh, they're, they're in the... They're in the basketball tournament today. So anyway, thank you, Byron. God yes, bless you, thank and, you and those who tune in. So listen, I'm going to let you guys talk to, to Robbie King here, your right. partner with us and well, has been for many years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was here this we morning. We love that breakfast. I mean, uh, but I was thinking about how that brought me to think about your faithfulness, yours and Miss Katrina's, when you come here. And uh, just tell us about not only being a lighthouse keeper, but, you know, what the rock in the lighthouse means to you and your family. For me, it uh, it comes down to, to unity of a believer. Mm -hmm. That it doesn't matter what church you go to. That's right. It doesn't matter what uh, particular part of the religion that you that you want to associate yourself with. That we're nothing but a group of believers of Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. That's right. And and that's what it comes down to. Uh, when I first came here, Paul and Vicky never asked me what uh, my belief was. Besides that, I was a, a Christ believer. That's right. And there, there's, Christ does not want us to be, be defined by a Methodist or a Baptist or, right. or whatever you think you might be. He wants us to be a disciple of, of Jesus Christ. That's right. And that's the reason I love this place so much is it goes across, besides going into a prison, it goes across into the different homes, the, the different churches. We're just here to, uh, to worship and praise Today, the Lord. Uh, I showed up and I had been gone to Uganda. You had been out of town for a little bit, so before yeah. I left, yeah. I didn't get to see you. Yep. You know, and the first thing that happened was we greeted each other. Exactly. Now you and I have been in all, all the time we've known each other. <laughs> we've been in like one church service, yeah. other than the Rock, <laughs> exactly. together, and we've never had that conversation. Oh, what is you know? You go to this church, and and Paul said it so graciously two days ago at the beginning of Sherathon. We're not looking for a church. We are the church. Exactly. We're the, you know, there's many different churches that make up this body of Christ. That's right. That's shining his light. And, you know, and I just know that, you know, Miss Katrina and you mean so much to my family. Yes. Uh, you know, because your wife has blessed my daughter at school and so many others. And then yet we see her get off a of school day. We see you taking calls sometimes you're like hey i gotta go i've gotta go but you're here and you're you're so in your your time as well and that is so valuable that some people don't know about that you know that they'd be one of the the things i wanted to bring up today was how robert and i met i don't even remember if he remembers at all 
but we met by by chance. We were in Sonny's, and he had a, a T-shirt on that said "Rock Universe" mm-hmm. or "Night of Joy." Yeah, and I was like, "I'm going there." Yeah, yeah. And we started a conversation. Sure did. We failed to even introduce ourselves, but yeah. we talked for 25 yeah. minutes mm-hmm. between tables. Yeah. So a t-shirt connected to it. T-shirt, a t-shirt. Like, t-shirt yeah. connected. And I remember it was the Rock the Universe t-shirt because yeah. it was uh, one of the first ones I designed. Yeah. And he was like, well, we're going there. And I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we are too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know? And, and it started from there. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and it wasn't until like two or three other times of talking for a half hour at yeah. a time, we finally said, my name's Robert King. Yeah. Robert Burns. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> But the beard wasn't as long back then. No, it wasn't. It was, it was in infant stages. It was, you know, infant, it was uh, yeah. various different stages. <laughs> and uh, to me, events like that mm-hmm. and events like today mm-hmm. connect us. Because when I go to Brunswick, and if someone hears what I'm listening to, hey, yeah. I listen to the Lighthouse yeah, when, when, I, right. when I come south from head into right. Jacksonville. Yeah. Yeah. And and if I go into theirs, then they're, they're listening to the Lighthouse. It's like, hey, I appreciate you listening in, or I'm listening to, to, to the wave up, up there mm-hmm. in Brunswick. Right, right. It's a connecting point. That's it right. is. That's right. And, it, and yeah. it's just neat because it, it, it goes beyond it does. our geographical mm-hmm. boundaries. It opens up an, an opportunity to get lifted up That's right. during that moment and that time. And... And I just appreciate those conversations we had. Because the first time we met, I would just had a horrible business luncheon. Mm-hmm. I wish I wouldn't have attended. Yeah. <laughs> but I had to go through that to get lifted up, and I appreciate it. But if you didn't attend, you and I might not have met. Not yeah. like that, really. Yeah. And then that has began a relationship with you and me and our families yes, where, you know, you're, you know, where I was able to trust Miss Katrina and I told Maggie, I said, when you're picking something, think about this. Yeah. I know Brother Robbie's wife, and I know Miss Katrina has a good heart. Yeah. She's a faithful Christian. And Maggie, I believe you'd enjoy that. And my daughter, that has been out of a horrible high school. You know, some people love high school, some people not so much. But out of Maggie going to Miss Katrina's class, that, that gave her a little bit more sense in her purpose. And that's just because of this relationship. Exactly. You know, and, and a t-shirt. A t-shirt. A, t-shirt. a $10 t-shirt. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those kind of things that the Spirit of God can use to connect and do people right. together. And I don't know how many people have stopped me with my Lighthouse t-shirt. And they're like, oh, I know that. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Do you go yeah. there? Do you yeah. work there? Do you know them? And I was like, oh, yeah, I know Paul and Vicky. And they're like, oh, you know honey and honey <laughs> and I was like yeah I see them every day and they're like oh they're on with me every morning you know and it's just that you, got it. you, know, you know which we won't even know yeah. we won't even know until we get there that's right how many lives have truly been touched that we've all been blessed to, to yeah. touch that's right. yeah because I believe it's just like the song every time I think about heaven I think about the song thank you Mm-hmm. Thank yeah, you yeah. for giving right. to the Lord. I'm a life change. Yeah. yeah. I'm a life change because of what yeah. you gave. That's right. And I think, man, that heaven is going to be heaven because it's going to be because of that. Yeah. yeah. They're going to be coming through and saying, you know, Jesus spoke to me yeah. in this remote place that the lighthouse was playing. So thank you. Thank for you. Forward. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Woo. Woo. God's a good amazing. story. Good testimony. Yeah. It, it good is. people. Very much. We good are good. People. We are good people. So it's been a very exciting morning, it hasn't sure it? Sure has. Yeah, we we have uh, our brother Byron Deloach in here. Yes. And uh, Deloach Entertainment, and uh-huh. uh, he has us on camera. Uh, oh my! You know, here with my beautiful wife, Sherathon 2014. Uh huh. And we are just uh, we're looking forward to more calls. And Beck, I see the lights. The lights on the phones lighting up right now. Callers calling in, people coming in, giving their donations. Yes. You know, wanting to share his story to shine his light. Right. And and then you know, it's so cool. I cannot say it enough that we're not doing it by ourselves. It's no. It's not an no. individual effort. Everyone who gives, regardless of the amount, 
is part of shining his light and sharing his story. It's like what I shared earlier about the, the one light comes into the room. That's right. And then the different mirrors are positioned. And you shared that was Indiana Jones. That's right. I couldn't remember what movie that came from. But all I know is the light shines in and it bounces off of each mirror. And then all of a sudden, the whole room is lit up. And we are each like one of those little mirrors that, That's right. that reflect the light of Jesus. And when we do it together... We, we shine a great big light. And, you know, we had one of our one of my personal great friends, Robbie King, come in. Yes. And he was sharing, you know, uh, some some things about how we met and about what the lighthouse means to him and mm -hmm. his family. You know, and he is a valuable part yes. of the lighthouse. Yes. And it's not because he just comes in and drops dump truck loads of money off. <laughs> okay, now that, you know, that that, that brings a, with what it is, it is. But, right. but he doesn't do that. He comes in. And he's just an integral part right. of what the lighthouse is doing. Yes. And so, you know, that's what we're calling on is people who want to be part of shining his light. Right. We're calling on those people because that's what Sherathon's about. Community, family, and remembering that it's not about us. Yeah. I no longer am alive, right. but it's he who lives in me is what Galatians 2 and 20 says. It's about him, and it's about his story and how we are a part of his story, this God's story of redemption where he looked down and saw us in our rebellion, in our sin, in our condemnation. We were condemned to death, That's and he right. sent Jesus to rescue us, to give his life for us, and then three days later, be raised up from the dead, and now we have hope. So we can be rescued and then in turn share God's story with the world. And we do that here at the Lighthouse. That's right. So as it gets close to the end of our time, my dear. It is. You know, yeah. uh, which is unfortunate because we love being here. We love being in the capacity that we're in. Yes, we do. But, you know, we're going to make way for others to come in and That's share right. and shine his light. But, you know, just to say, call in. We have some open lines, 1-800-577-WECC, or contact us on The Lighthouse at thelighthousefm.org and become a lighthouse keeper. Yep. Uh, call in and become part of this family, and guess what? We've got still tons of food. Yum. Come by and eat second lunch or third <laughs> lunch. Whatever it is, uh, come in and refresh yourself, right. get refreshment. Uh, you know, be part of this, and, you know, Beck, we're looking at 55 60 70 percent right. on right up to a hundred percent that's right you know to happen and he, and in the why can we say that because god is faithful that's right it's in him faith believing right you know it's not about the amount you give that's right but it's about the fact that you do give yes well it has been so good to be with you here yes. keep it locked in here as we have share -a -thon 2014 for the rest of the day when you share his story his light will shine god bless you we love you Patty Broughton and I've been with the lighthouse for about 12 years and I've been through some rough times in my life and this place has really lifted me up and I just give God the glory and I thank God the glory for this radio station and the people that are here I hear their word every morning and it just makes my day and God is so good and if you really love this radio station please come and donate your time and donate your money and just give back to what God has given you in in your life and let him bless you beyond blessing because he will he loves you more than anything in this world and you know he God gave Jesus to us and he was a sacrifice for us and he laid his life down for us and our sins and you know we just got to have faith and walk by faith not by the things that we see but the things that are unseen and you know this world is a rough world to live in and heaven is our home and that's our promise from God and I just give him glory every day for healing me and getting me through all my struggles in this life and praise be to God and come and visit Paul and Vicki if you've never met them. Stop in at the radio station. They are wonderful, loving, kind people. They'll take you in as family. You can come here and get prayer if you need prayer, um, just to talk. There's many people here just that wants to help you and serve you the best that we can. Co-laborer and co-host, co we've yes. been um, so much together. But you know, I'm I'm so blessed because um, as you hear my accent, I'm I'm not from these parts. I've been down here for seven years, and the Hayes just took my husband and I in. We're on the air. We're we're one of the 
I think about nine on-air ministers. We have Becky Burns and Robert Burns, and we have Mark McMillan and Dawn Drury and Janine Cavasacallion. I'm not hoping I'm not my husband Jimmy Keough, and aside from the Hafers that are on in the morning, and we're just so blessed that we are part of that, and we are so blessed that we can be an encouragement to help shine the light. You know, our purpose is to get the light of life out there. Who is Jesus Christ? And just to um, not only as we build up your faith uh, through our encouraging words and the music that comes forth here, but you know we we in turn get encouraged as we encourage you. So we just so thank you for just partnering with us as being lighthouse keepers with us and um, you know getting on the bandwagon as I always say and uh, just you know joining us as we go for this ride through our journey you know um, through our spiritual walk so it's such a blessing as I said you know I'm so thankful to Paul and Vicki for really having the faith in my husband and myself not really knowing you know uh, where we've come from our background similar you know things that they knew but really having faith enough in us to put us on the air as on-air ministers to minister to y'all so yeah that y'all came out that's the southern part of me that I'm down here but um, normally I would say to you guys so that's what it is so you know we thank you for sowing your seed and praying I always say no prayer is too short no amount is too little continue what you're doing because this is solid Solid ground. This is not solid ground. This is ground that that you're planting your seed into that is going to flourish for sure. And we are here all the time for everyone. We pray for you guys. You don't even realize that we do as our Lighthouse family. We do pray for you. So, you know, continue to pray for us. And we all co-labor together because it's all about shining the light of Christ. Not who we are in the air or off the air or whatever. It's all about his kingdom and showing forth the kingdom of God in this earth as believers so I'm thankful for the lighthouse and that's I can go on and on because I'm a New Yorker and I love to talk but that's it <laughs> but thank you anyways thanks so much guys for for planting your seed into this ministry what a life changer this radio station has been to me and you can turn out tune on to it any time of the day or night and listen to it and I'm faithful about listening to it every day and Paul and Vicki I mean their music their inspirational words uh, just lift me up every day on my way to work and different times in my life I've came in here days later or seen them in church to tell them what their word did for me that day and any of you out there just call and tell them what's on your heart when you hear it or how they've changed your life for even a day or a minute or a verse or a scripture you know God works in many ways through many people and we are blessed all of us out here listeners and you know just giving to them you know the share an awesome thing and they only do it once a year Sherry Farr, and I tell you, we've seen Sherry uh, walk with the Lord for a lot of years, always faithful. She's um, a single mom and has given and given and given out of her need, not out of her abundance more often than not, but uh, just gives all that she has for the Lord. And, and so thank you. Thank you for, for being there, Sherry, and for the... Uh, that's right, and she is in ministry.